We can make a basic solar oven just by using a cardboard box. The idea is that we have to have sunlight concentrated into the space where we're going to heat something up in the box. And in order to do that, we need to reflect the light from as many surfaces as possible into the box. So in other words, you're just catching more sunlight and directing it into the place where you're trying to cook something. Uh, in the very centre you might have a very simple little cooking pot or just a serviette with a food item on it. So all of these things you could experiment with. One problem you've got is that the um, sunlight coming in will heat any object that you place inside the box. But if there's a cool breeze blowing at the same time and sort of the air is moving past it, well, it has a cooling effect. So any heat uh, doesn't remain in the box and is sort of, you know, wafted away, if you like, by the moving air. So if we could keep the air still inside the box, that air would heat up as well. And we could do that just by having a covering or over the box, the opening part of the box, have a covering which was cling film. And that would act just like a greenhouse uh, where the glass lets the light in, heats up the contents of the greenhouse, less of the light reflects back out, and you've got a body of air in there that isn't free to move as much and cool things down. So that's the basic principle. Any box will do. A flat pizza box could be modified to be an oven. This is a much deeper box, a bit maybe a shoe box sort of size, but in theory any container, uh, particularly cardboard boxes, can be used for this. So when you're trying to sort of figure out how to line the box with as many reflecting surfaces as possible using foil, you need access into it and uh, one thing you might consider doing is cutting the sides down the box. So when you do that, you can open the box up and that simply allows you to get your hands in and then cover the surfaces with foil more easily. Then later, if you wanted to seal that back up, just glue it back on again. Sorry, sticky tape it back on again. So sticky tape, this one's already been opened up once sticky taped the sides and then that seals it back up but you've made life easier by allowing you to get your hands inside so really we need to think about as many surfaces as possible reflecting the light into the box even that one we could even later on when it is completely covered in foil tilt the box in the direction of the sun and that would make better use of all of the reflecting surfaces and of course you can alter the angle of those surfaces. Right here we go, two ways to do it. You could simply take lots of smaller pieces of foil, smaller pieces are easier to work with and then if you can sort of manage to judge the size of them you could simply go around cutting the pieces of foil the appropriate size and then sticking them on. So that bit there is about that size. Foil's not the easiest thing to cut, so you either glue stick it, or if you've ever done that sort of uh, sticky tape thing where you double it over, just put a couple of bits of tape on it, that'll hold it in position, there goes the foil, shiny side, and then along the edges you would simply hold it with a few more bits of tape. So try not to overlap too much tape onto it, or you'll obscure the reflecting surface. So tiny bits of tape, that's all we need to do. Maybe that corner there, and that corner there. So if you've got lots of, um, if you've got access to masking tape, and you have, you know, a long piece of masking tape, cut it into much smaller pieces and have it ready stuck along the edge of the desk so that you can just repeatedly do this sort of sticking on thing. So let's have a look. Inside maybe. 
So these tiny bits of tape aren't going to make that much difference to the amount of reflected light that uh, is coming. Well, you would just repeat that for all of the surfaces. You could take a great big piece and just squeeze it in, but it ends up all crumpled and uh, it's very difficult to stick it down. So I would certainly recommend you just do panel by panel and then gradually the whole box will be covered in foil inside. Now in the previous vid, we showed how to make these card panels. Well, they're much easier to work with. So for example, with this, you could say, oh yeah, I get it. I've just got to put that there. And, uh, cut it off there. And because it's backed on card, it's actually a lot easier to cut it. Well, you could say, well, uh, hang on a minute. What I'll do is I'll just glue the whole thing into the back. And then that supporting piece there, that would be part of it. Wait a minute. I could actually bend it like that. Would that help? Maybe I could do it like that, so the whole thing tilts. So be imaginative about how you arrange all the reflecting surfaces, because uh, it's, you're trying to maximise the amount of reflected light off those surfaces onto whatever we place in there as the food item. Now the cling film might get in the way. So if you're thinking about this idea of sort of how to, to adjust things and alter the reflectors, then how on earth are you going to get the, the cling fill, film over the top? So you've got to think it through. So just to make the basic box anyway, line the whole thing with foil. There's another piece to go there. But then, when it's completed, all foiled up, and maybe you seal that end of the box back, then just make, we'll make a very simple sort of cling film lid to go over the top. So. I'll cut that video there, finish the um, foil inside, and then come back to the bit where we can um, seal it up and create the foil, uh, the um, cling film lid.